may be some uh, gang ties to this fight, but it is still being investigated. Fights at Green Bay Preble High School will keep extra police officers at the school for now. They've been there since last week, prompting different views from students. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're doing something about it. I feel better. Everything just dropped it. The investigation into the fights and reaction to the measures being taken by the district top tonight's Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone. What are being described as isolated incidents are affecting the roughly 2,400 students at Preble High School. School officials reiterated today that only a small number of students were involved in the fights last week. And we begin our coverage this evening with investigating officers telling Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays they're trying to prevent anything else from happening. At the school, there's talk of, you know, drive-by shootings, things like that. Some of this stuff is used loosely, you know, but at the time, we need to make sure that we take preventative measures. Police officers have been working with Preble administrators since two fights broke out on campus last week. Police say one student's jaw was injured and another student was knocked down during the disturbance. Well, I think it's young people young people uh, fighting. We're still investigating to see why it's occurring and who's all involved. There was a lot of people standing around, but I don't know how many people were involved in the actual fight. Lapine also said he had just learned that the incidents may be linked to gangs, but that's still being investigated. Police say a couple of disorderly conduct citations have been issued, but could not confirm if they were given to current students. Friday, Preble administrators asked for more police officers at the school and sent students home at different times. Over the weekend, the school principal emailed parents about the altercations and increased police presence on campus. We will look at each and every student involved, and if it means moving for expulsion, we will certainly go down that road. We will not tolerate disruptions like this or any potential gang activity or aggressive behaviors in our schools. The superintendent also said police will remain on campus as long as the school feels it's necessary. As police continue with the investigation, the school says their goal is to keep students safe. In Green Bay, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News. Police officials also indicated that while they are aware of gang activity in the area, they say they are not aware of any increased activity. 